So is it, how do you, because you're kind of a bit of a rock star, you know, you're, you're, uh, how many millions of hits? Um, you know? No, I'm a me, myself, and I person. Yeah. I just, I have no assistants. I have no agents. I, you know, I have a literary agent, but that was like someone who came to me. I didn't go looking for that person. Sure, sure. I'm not saying you have a big ego and you've been very chill to work with. I've never had a bad experience there, but you also, you know, you're in the world. You've got... 10 million hits on YouTube or whatever and you know, and I, you know I've never I so I'm so bad at YouTube and I don't really use it and I just put it up there and I'm bad at returning comments to people's questions someone produced those videos they're nicely oh, done Come me on. my husband really? oh yeah. that was nicely done it was nicely done they're very beautiful I recommend them to people just as we're aware, if people wanted to check out a video on YouTube what would be a good one to, for beginners to start with with the Qigong maybe it if they want to like the eight brocades Eight brocades. Yeah, one of my students, by the way, says, thank you. I just talked to her. She says she's doing that every day, and she really likes it. Oh, cool. But there's so, a thank you, Liz, my student. Let me just um, backtrack to the original reason I read you these precepts, because you said, you know, I'm at Tri-Yoga. You know, how, how do I reconcile that? That And this, the precepts are how I reconcile that. I don't, you know, they do what they do, and that's great, and I do what I do, and that's fine, and I'm not in any need to, you know, say what someone else is doing is right or wrong. Um, yeah, but, you know, racism is a different issue, but I'm not going to go there right now. But it, the, the thing is, is it, it's the Taoists say act, but never do any violence, never aggressively act, but never seek the, the, the praise for it, you know, act, do things. It doesn't say don't do anything, um, okay. but it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't say like, you know, oppose something really strongly and and so it makes room for everything and it changes with the times this is the Taoist principle as well and so you know I, I'm very grateful to try yoga I love try yoga and I think it's you know it but it's like anything and it's it's a work in progress just want to say I'm not slagging try yoga I've had <laughs> I've been to I did there. or you can eat buffet for 30 days and move to London <laughs> Loads of great teachers there. Loads of friends I've met there. I, I, love, I love it. I love it. So I'm not slagging it off. And I'm, I'm not being political when I say that. I genuinely think it's a good place. So. Yeah. All right. Good. So uh, anything you want to say about how this Taoist work or the Qigong sort of applies to our times right now? Well, there's, you know, various politics going on. Uh, you said you don't want to talk about racism. You are welcome to if you want to uh, and equally not to. Uh, equally the COVID times we're sort of maybe moving mm -hmm. out of fingers crossed anything that kind of relates to current times that might be interesting well, I always said I didn't want to talk about racism because it's such a big issue for me I mean being a person of color having grown up with a family that was an area you know we're the only Chinese family within miles and miles in Arizona um, but you know just that I feel that one of the things that Taoism says is that effortless action, Wu Wei, and spontaneity, naturalness, Zuran, they go hand in hand, but they're often misconstrued as either Wu Wei inaction, not acting, or spontaneity and naturalness as doing whatever the hell you want. Right, so some just near enemies there, huh? And so, yeah, exactly. But when understood correctly, Wu Wei is the appropriate action without strife and struggle. So the foundations of Taoism, simplicity, humility, compassion, you have to do anything that you undertake, you do with compassion and humility uh, and, and patience and simplicity. Uh, so struggle against racism, fight racism, speak out against racism, but from a place that's worked through the reactivity and the anger and the hatred and the pain to a place that's more wise and compassionate. Spontaneity, naturalism, misunderstood as just a uh, carelessness or whimsical or, um, uh, you know, do anything that you want to do. No, it's actually, you have to know everything. You have to know and be informed about everything before you can be free from the tyranny of right and wrong. And then you can act spontaneously and freely, but you have to educate yourself along the, the spectrum of everything that's happening before you can then be free to, to not take sides strongly.
or to see past the 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 the, the trap of pol you know the, the polarity and you can see into the wholeness um, and so that's an invitation to cultivate and read and understand and get informed and then you can act from a place that's free i will not ruin that by adding anything to it beautiful thank you so much so whether that's racism or it's covid or it's politics you know that's where i put my intention and where i put my, my left or right it definitely sounds like some medicine that could be really helpful right now so hope people take that one on <laughs> one question which i thought was a really interesting simple question which very rarely guests ask which is why don't more people do qigong so normally people come on and they're enthusiastic like everyone should do five rhythms everyone should do sistema everyone should do yoga and it's like okay cool but why don't they so i'm like why do you think that is oh i think one reason is it's not been marketed very well and it's not very marketable <laughs> okay <laughs> so, potential issue here okay go so, on yeah people you look you have people doing qigong martial arts wearing pajamas versus uh -huh doing yoga and other things wearing lycra and skimpy outfits okay so the outfits are less sexy that's 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 the first thing is there something about it not giving that quick fix as well like 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 i find when you go to yoga you just immediately get a bit of an endorphin buzz and you stretch and it's hard you feel like you're doing something hard and afterwards you're lying in shavasana and you're a little bit sort of endorphin stoned mm. and you know you're going to get that whereas not necessarily with you know in my experience of say doing tai chi is you might just spend half an hour annoyed and it's kind of difficult and there isn't that glow necessarily at the end so it doesn't necessarily give that quick win yeah people like to shop around a lot now and they like to um like you said have something immediate and anything that i feel that you learn <laughs> takes time and it, it the when you invest in that time and you you give it the respect and the depth and the commitment um that say learning a language is is able to give and reciprocate if you if you really feel then like you can go to france and speak french you know it takes time but the rewards are great mm -hmm. and the the same thing is true with these deeper martial and qigong practices that they're frustrating at the beginning and and they're the type of things that take that deep respect and time and, and patience and dedication to learn. So a lot of people these days don't want to do that. Uh, I think they, and it's not necessarily to any fault of their own. They, they're, you know, busy. They don't have time. They, uh, they feel like they need a, a pill instead of alternative therapy, which is slow. They, they want to take mm -hmm. a pill that takes away their disease or pain or or anxiety or headache or whatever it is um, versus changing the way that they eat going to bed at a different time uh, you know <laughs> regulating their exercise and Ooh. so yeah you know but you, you can't put you can't you can't expect to eat a, a, a head of lettuce if you don't put the seed in the ground first put, put a little water in the soil give it some sunshine protect it from the wind then letting it grow and eventually a few months later you've got a beautiful head of lettuce yeah it's take time and i think people are just so unwilling um, to respect that they just want to go to the supermarket and pick the head of lettuce yeah and you miss the stage then you feed the lettuce to an animal and then you've got something tasty no, <laughs> no, stage there, me, me. but I, I was with you i was with you i thought there was going to be a cow or a rabbit at least involved okay Good. Mimi, this is a delight as ever. You're a total pleasure. I love, I love a lot of the stuff you've said. You've made things simple. I think the Taoism is so important for today. Is there anything, we still have a few minutes here, so is there anything that you haven't covered that you would have liked to talk about? Oh, gosh. You know, I think you, you're, the, you're the one kind of, you know, with some questions and you know who your, your audience might be and what they might be interested in. Um, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. I think this was great. And, um, you know, we normally end by saying, do you have a closing message about the body? And first of all, like, where do people find you online? I know you're a Taoist sage, so you don't want to be found, but I think there is some kind of a humble website out there. Uh, mkdema.com, right? That's yeah, that's MK, like MK Ultra. Dema, D-E-E-M for Mark, E-R, dema.com. Is that the one you want to point people to? 
Yeah, that's that's fine. Thank you, Mark. No and, you know, I, that's you know, Taoist sages never want to be found. And we're I'm not a hermit. I'm I'm sort of doing a hermit light now that we're out in the countryside, which is great. I have a huge love of hermits. <laughs> but um, yeah, I you know I I think there's there's you know the the modern kind of incarnation of of, uh, of teachings is that there's the world that's in pain and we need to do what we can to, to remedy that and give some medicine out. And Taoist sages have often just not that I'm saying anything that you know is we're equating this, but like a Taoist will hermit himself or herself. Some some have even missed the entire cultural revolution <laughs> in China. But they'll also <laughs> like, like what happened? Um, and then but they also recognize when there's need in, in society mm. and, and to move back into society when they think that there's the balance of the Tao. It's it's like um you know it's it's did you see Avatar? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> The so, first the action movie, yeah. yeah. We, 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 we watched Avatar recently, but, yes. you know, Ewa, who's the, 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 the kind of the Tao, right? Or she, the spirit of that planet, ensures balance. And this is, this is, you know, I think what this world is crying out for is this recalibrating and this, rebalancing out of what's become kind of a massively imbalanced uh, predilection to destruction. Uh, so, you know, destruction of ourselves, destruction of the, the planet. And so I think, you know, if we have something within us to um, support the rebalancing of that, uh, and, and, you know, the beautiful thing is, is that you don't have to go out and proselytize anything. You can just do it for yourself. And the Taoists believe we're part of nature. You know, we're nature manifest in human form. There's no separation. And if you take care of yourself, you're taking care of everything around you. It's not narcissistic. It's not anything other than you're part of this. I'm looking out there because it's grass and trees. Right, right. We're part of this and we forget. You know, we somehow think we're separate from nature. This idea we've inherited from uh, Cartesian thinking and from... Uh, the likes of uh, early, early enlightenment thinkers, but that wasn't, hasn't always been the case. And so I think we can also learn from the Taoists just that you know, just take care of yourself. And that's, that's enough, enough. When you, when you do that, everything else will kind of flow out in a way that will feel much more kind and much more gentle to the world. It's a lovely place to end. I think Mimi, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks Mark. Pleasure.